I was planning on making a Tesla coil, but since I'm lacking some components, such as a step-up transformer from mains, I decided to make a Slayer Exciter instead. Uh, that only involves using a TIP 31C transistor and two diodes and a 50k ohm resistor approximately is how they did it anyway. So here we are. It'll come into focus. Here's my little board. I have a fan here to cool off this heat sink. So here you can see the heat sink for the TIP31 transistor. Here's the 50k resistor. In my case it is a 47k but close enough. And then I have two diodes which you can see one of. The other one's there as well, so those go to the base. Anyway, I'll show a schematic at the end of the video so you can build this yourself if you choose to. It's pretty awesome. And a quick rundown of the mechanics of this setup. So there are 500 turns of 30 gauge wire. That is the secondary. And there are five turns of 14 gauge wire for the primary, so the one that is connected to the TIP31 transistor. And as far as the physical mechanics. I am using a solar light base as my secondary coil holder, so it's all plastic. I think it's ABS. So I have one of those uh, spikes going into the coffee container, as you can see clearly, Folgers. And then this one, the one that holds the secondary coil, is the lid off of a shaving cream canister. So yeah, use what you have. It's all plastic, so I don't have to worry about stray electric field going through it or absorbing the energy. So here we go. Let's do a demonstration. Here are some fluorescent lights. And if I bring it close to the Slayer Exciter, it turns on. I'll turn off the lights for that part. So here's the fluorescent light. And now it's on, and it's pretty bright. I can see around my bench fairly well. Not perfectly, let's grab another one. So it can light up two fluorescent lights quite well. And I'll have to use this to light my way around my bench because I lost something. Uh, yeah, where did that go? Okay, now something I thought was really cool is it can light an LED. So let me just show you how the LED appears. So here's the LED, I just have the leads spread out far away from one another. And if I bring it close to the Tesla coil, it lights up. So there you go, there's the red LED. You know, it can light up all kinds of stuff, right? And now let's take a look at the top of the coil. Get some cool looking arc going on here. So if I put my hand close to it, don't touch it unless you want to get burned. It won't like, you know, give you third degree burns, but there's the arc. If that's going to show up on camera. So there's the arc. So that's a Slayer Exciter. Tesla coil will hopefully be coming up soon. And the schematic will follow shortly. Okay, so this is the schematic I used. If you type in Slayer Exciter schematic, this will be one of the results. I liked it. It just suited the parts I had on hand, and it was pretty well drawn. And there are a few things I deviated from. I did not use the 18 volts DC as they recommended. I used 32 volts DC. That was just because I had a heat sink on my transistor and also I had a fan so I could cool it a lot more so I could handle the higher current or the higher voltage and uh, also L1 I did not use the eight turn recommendation I used five turns that may have been a mistake but I did that because I wanted a higher gain because the way transformers work the number of coils on the primary versus the number of turns on the secondary determine your gain. So if you have five turns on the primary and uh, 500 turns on the secondary, you get a gain of 100. So that was what I was thinking when I did this build here. I don't know exactly what my gain was. You may be better off using the eight turns, but that's up to you. R1, as I stated before, I used a 47K ohm resistor. It worked out pretty well. And for diodes, two and one, so these guys here. I just grabbed some random silicon diodes, they worked okay. 
the reason they recommend these ones is because they have a high peak inverse voltage. They can withstand 1000 volts DC. Yeah, that's up to you. So that should sum up the schematic. Very useful. Tweak it as you wish. I've seen some with a capacitor. I believe the capacitor was in here somewhere. So, yeah, have fun.